The clutch drum works with your chainsaw's clutch to drive the saw chain. The clutch drum has the drive sprocket built onto it. When the saw is accelerated, the clutch expands and contacts the clutch drum, which drives the saw chain. After years of use, the sprocket on the clutch drum will wear down. If the saw is accidentally run with the brake engaged, the clutch drum will be overheated and can warp. The inside of the clutch drum can wear down where the clutch pads contact it. Replacing the clutch drum is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi. I'm Mark Sochester. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side cover from the chainsaw. Now remove the bar and chain. Next I'll remove the retaining ring that secures the clutch. Now I can install the new clutch drum. I'll place it over the shaft, install the washer, and secure it with the retaining ring. I'll place the bar back onto the bar studs and now I can install the chain. Make sure you install the chain so the cutters on the bottom of the bar are pointing towards the saw. I'll place the chain into the bar groove and around the sprockets. Now I'll pull the bar forward, applying tension to the chain and aligning the drive links with the groove in the bottom of the bar. Next, I'll reinstall the side cover. Make sure that the tensioner aligns with the hole in the bar. And now I'll apply enough tension to the chain to bring it up against the bar. I'll install the bar nuts, just finger tight, lift the front of the bar, and apply tension. I want to tension the chain so I can pull it away from the bar with regular force, but not pull the drive links completely away from the bar. That looks good. And that's how you can install a new clutch drum on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.